Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen how to add methods to your class, right? So now till now we have discussed how to create your class, how to create object of that class, how to add attributes and how to add methods to the class, right? Now based on that, whatever you have learned till now, based on that we will be doing one exercise in this video, right? And after that in further videos we will continue with the advanced concepts right of object oriented programming right so the question is that is a very simple one you have to calculate area of circle and circumference of circle and area and circumference of circle right and that you will use my I mean which approach you will use object oriented programming approach means you have to create class objects and then you have to find out the area and circumference of circle yeah, although you can do this uh, without using this classes and object concept, but that is different one. We are, now we are focusing on OOP concept. So, even a simple example we will do with the help of classes and object concept, right? Then only you will, you know, you will be, it will be easy for you to understand the concept and it will be easy for you to apply these concepts to a larger project, right? Okay, now just pause the video and try to find out the area and circumference of a circle, right? Okay, so I hope you have done this, uh, this project, uh, sorry, this exercise. So let's create a new file like circle exercise dot py. And we are creating a class first. And the name of the class is circle with C capital, right? So let's take this init function and what you need for area and circumference? One we need pi and one we need is like uh, radius, right? So pi is we know for all the circles pi value is same 3.14. So I have told you one concept that is class object attribute, right? Outside of this init function we define that attribute. So pi is equal to 3.14. So here pi is our class object attribute. So for all the objects you create or for every instance you create from this class, the pi value would be same 3.14. That is why I am taking this as a class object attribute. And what we knew, you need is radius. So let's take a parameter radius. So self dot attribute name I'm taking same as parameter name you can take different name also self dot radius equal to and whatever the value of this parameter whatever whatever value you pass as an argument that would be assigned to the self dot radius this attribute right so see as you can see here we have radius because we have a parameter name radius from there we will get the value radius right or you can simply here put r if you put here r then yes you should put r so this and this the name should be same this name self dot after you know self dot after this you take any attribute name right so i'm just taking now let's define a function circumference right and what is the formula of circumference 2 pi r. So the formula is 2 into pi value. So pi value means you cannot directly write down here pi. If you write down here pi directly pi into radius. So radius is obviously the attribute of the circle. So how to access self dot radius. Right? Maybe you think pi is class object attribute so no need to write down self. So whatever the circumference, we will, let's store this in a circum variable and let's return this variable, return whatever the value or rather than two lines in single line also we can write down this thing. Rather than this line, just remove this and here only just write down, that is also fine, return 2 into pi into self dot radius right maybe you think it's right let's see now let's create obviously an object suppose circle one i'm creating is equal to the name of the class is circle this is the way you create and 
you need to pass what one parameter radius so i am passing here 4 and I am just printing because this function is returning the value. So if how you will call this function circumference or better to name this get circumference right. How you will call this on this on this uh, instance of this class the name of the instance the name of the object circle, circle one dot get circumference right. So whatever it will return either you can store that in a variable and then you can print that variable otherwise in one line only you can do that task and simply write down here print print whatever it will return that would be printed. I hope it's right but it's not let's run this and I will show you what error you will get here see in line number 8 here we are calling this method and See, not function, we will call these methods, right. Now, this method is in line number 6, in line number 8 we are calling and in line number 6, see we are defining this function, this method. So, name pi is not defined. Although pi is a class object attribute, it would be same, the value of pi would be same for each, uh, you can say, object. But when you call this get circumference using this object circle one dot get circumference dot uh, this so i need pi for this circle and pi for this circle how you can get using self dot pi right self dot pi now let's run this see 25.12 right if I think if I write something like this if you provide default value like radius is equal to maybe uh, 5 or maybe like 6. So here if you do not provide any argument then also it is fine because by default radius is equal to 6. So it will take radius 6 and it will give you the result right and if you provide any value like 4 I am providing then it will override this value 6 now this time I am providing the value 4 so radius would be equivalent to 4 now so see the answer is 25.12 right so this is also fine right this I hope you got why I am writing here self dot pi right if I create another circle and for this the value of uh, what we can say this radius is 14 so now on circle 2 let's call this function get circumference and whatever it will return we are going to print that thing right. So let us run this now you will get two circumference 87.9 to 25.12 right. So when you are calling this function on circle 2 then it will it will it is you know uh, pointing to self dot pi means pi value for this circle. And at this point of time, pi value for circle 1, that is why we are writing self dot pi, self dot pi, not just pi. One more thing, rather than self dot pi, if pi is a class object attribute, right, then somewhere it is also written, rather than self, we can write down the name of the class, circle dot pi. That is also fine. Let us run this and see, you will get the result. So, like, why we are writing this one, circle dot pi, because it will differentiate. If Anybody will see like I have I am having 50 maybe methods in my class. So wherever you will write the class name dot any variable name then yeah he or she will have an idea like this is a class object attribute and the value of this object is same for every instance right. So that is why we it's better to write if you are using a class object attribute better to access that attribute with the help of name of the class or self dot pi which you can write that is also fine. And one more thing for area also same you can create another method right. So like def get area and all. So this thing is your assignment you need to do right. You have to define a function get area and you need to do that thing. Another way is just I want to show you like I am passing here only one parameter radius right. It is not like that if you are passing only one parameter then the attribute for the object or the attribute in this class would be only one and if I pass here two parameter 
then two attribute no i am passing only one parameter but still attribute of the object can be more like area so self dot area i am creating another attribute self dot area equal to now area is pi r square right so pi not pi we will write like uh, circle dot pi because is class object attribute pi r square so not no need to write self dot radius self dot radius because we are simply taking the value from this parameter radius so simply here write down radius pi r square radius into radius right so if you here want to print the area as well see circle 1 dot now as you can see we can access this radius pi and area as well as and obviously here see can you see this pink round pink circle and here we have written m m means this is what method in it is what method and this f f is like maybe you say these are attributes so it, it should be a here but f means like it is in yellow then these are fields right so these are radius pi area these are fields okay now i can access this area circle one, circle one dot area selling let's run this so this is what this is the area of the circle 50 right or if you want to print like this like this using f string we can write down this thing so let's run this and now see circumference of circle 1 is this circle 2 is this and the area of circle 1 is 50 like this right so now one assignment for you is you need to find out area of a rectangle right that is your assignment like this you can you know uh, do some exercise like area of square rectangle or triangle or any other things right these thing you can try but from my side your assignment is you have to find out area of rectangle you can write down that logic in comment section fine so now i think that's it about like the basics of methods and all i hope you got the idea of attribute methods class object self keyword class object attribute init function and all how to define a method and all right how to access uh, the methods and attributes of a class with the help of object right so now i'll see you in the next video bye bye Take care.